So everyone's been saying AI is a bubble, right? Like it's all just a hype fueled by the big tech companies with their crazy resources. But then stuff like DeepSeek R1 comes along and it feels like AI might actually be becoming something real, not just a playground for the giants. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane with LLMs. Transformer. This was like a aha moment for computers understanding language. It got way better at dealing with text. Bird showed us how important context is like understanding what a sentence really means. It got good at things like figuring out what a sentence is about or picking out names in text. Then came GPT which took things even further, predicting text, writing code and even sounding almost human. At first all of this stuff was basically free to play with. But then LLMs got super popular and companies like OpenAI started charging for them. That's when AI got all businessy. Money started to become the focus. But guess what? Here's the cool part. DeepSeek R1 like all of the DeepSeek models is offering open weights. We are not saying open source exactly since the training data is not public. However, this is a game changer. Instead of paying OpenAI for every little thing, you can run R1 on your own server or even on your own computer for way less cash. Now jumping to DeepSeek R1 which is a reasoning model like OpenAI's Oven, they actually use their DeepSeek V3 base as a starting point and use reinforcement learning framework to make it better at reasoning. I'll be diving into all of these details in my How Are LLMs Built series. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. So why is this a good news? Well, LLMs are usually massive, like requiring a whole bunch of super expensive computers just to run. This meant only the big guys could really play in that space. But now with R1, anyone can grab an open weight LLM and start building their own models with a decent setup. Basically, DeepSeek R1 might just be the thing that shakes up the AI world. It's giving the little guys a fighting chance, the big consumer tech companies a new playing field and ultimately everyone has a chance to benefit from AI. But it's not just the little guys that benefit. The big consumer tech companies are also poised to win big here. A world where AI is basically free means that product design and distribution become even more important and those are areas where they already excel. Ultimately though, the biggest winners will be consumers and businesses because they'll get access to effectively free AI products and services. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.